North Dakota's Legislative Assembly officially ended shortly after midnight, having passed hundreds of bills that will be law for the next two years. Maddie Beer Temple talked to those on both sides of the aisle about the highlights of the last 76 days and what's next. The North Dakota House of Representatives is adjourned sine die. Sine die. And with that, the 67th legislative session has come to an end. Senate Majority Leader Rich Wardner, who's held a seat in the legislature since 1991, says it was a challenging session with COVID protocols, but overall, he's happy with how it went. Well, it seemed like everything went very well. We were able to step up and meet those challenges and move on. Wardner noted the passage of three bills using the legacy fund to improve infrastructure in the state. Using those earnings is something he'd like to see in the future, too. As we go forward, I think we can take a look at replacing income tax, property tax with some of this legacy earning, which is going to be a huge benefit to the state of North Dakota. And despite their seats being outnumbered 120 to 21 in the legislature, the Dem NPL still found ways to accomplish their policy goals, like helping working families. Representative Zach Easta um, with his bill to, to help fallen heroes. Uh, Representative Carlos Hansen um, expanded coverage for uh, things like continuous glucose monitors. Dem NPL Executive Director Michael Taylor says the party hopes to continue bringing forward legislation for paid family leave, which started as a bill, turned into a study, and eventually failed to pass. As we look towards the pandemic, we have a workforce development crisis, um, recruiting people here is tough. That, to me, is one thing that would bring individuals, families, especially young ones, in. It's not the last time lawmakers will see each other this year. They're expected to meet in the coming months to address redistricting and how to allocate federal COVID relief money. We do have $1 billion from the feds laying there. We did not appropriate it. We don't know the guidelines. And so as we go into the interim and this summer, there's a good chance that the Appropriations Committee, both the House and the Senate, will come back and work on the monies that are coming from the feds. In total, the legislature added about 500 new laws over the past four months. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. The 68th Assembly will meet in January of 2023. And keep it here. Coming up.